Cooking with Amy. Hey everybody, need a really quick last minute appetizer, perfect for the big game or if you're having a holiday party, I have a winner. These are always a hit. And whenever you're doing a, a party or get together, especially when it's cold outside, I like to do a mix of both cold appetizers like a veggie and dip platter and things like that and warm appetizers too. Um, and you can't go wrong with meatballs. Uh, meatballs, the guys love them, the kids love them, even I love them. And if you have them in the slow cooker, people can just help themselves. So really they are the perfect party food. These are really lovely because they're great for the holidays. They're my cranberry meatballs and it just doesn't get much easier than this. So the recipe starts out with a two pound bag of pre-cooked cocktail size meatballs. And you can certainly triple, double or triple the recipe. These go quickly, so you might want to make sure you've got plenty. Um, they're really delicious, and they get gobbled right up. And the leftovers are actually great over mashed potatoes. So uh, any leftovers you can you know, have for dinner later in the week. Then we've got one can of jellied cranberry sauce. And I love using cranberry sauce um, in things other than the cranberry sauce on your Thanksgiving table. So just carries that, that flavor through, and it's just a very nice holiday touch to have something with cranberries in it. Then we've got some dried minced onion, about a tablespoon or so of that. One bottle of uh, chili sauce. This is basically kicked up ketchup. You'll find it in the aisle near the ketchup, and it's just got some more flavor to it. So just dump the whole bottle in there. Really tasty. And last but not least, just a little touch of a dry red wine. Pinot Noir is great. Uh, Cabernet is great. We're happy to use, uh, we're using the um, Door County uh, Peninsula red wine. So just a little splash of that. Lid goes on. You go get ready for the rest of your guests and let that cook low and slow for a few hours until it just gets all nice and heated through and the house smells delicious. Serve this with you know, all sorts of great party munchies, cheese and crackers and a veggie and dip tray. And, you know, basically it just makes the perfect party food because you put out toothpicks and everybody can help themselves. And the sauce is really what makes this. It's this great meatballs and the wonderful cranberry sauce, that little bit of wine. And then that, um, the, the chili sauce is just fantastic. These get really tender. They stay nice and warm in your slow cooker and they're really, really easy. And if you do use one of these slow cooker liners, um, they're fantastic too because after the party's over, no mess. Basically, you just, you know, take this and you uh, uh, freeze the, the leftovers or keep the leftovers in your fridge. Great over, as I said, mashed potatoes, these leftover meatballs, and uh, no cleanup at all, which is a breeze. So there you go, my cranberry meatball recipe. You can get it on the website.